Back here with Middle East Now. First cooperation between Israel and the UAE in space exploration. Journalist Melanie Swan from Dubai. Good evening to you. Good evening. Uh, what's the plan, Melanie? So we've seen the first steps towards the UAE and Israel's collaboration in space research. So this actually has happened really quickly. In October, there was the Memorandum of Understanding announced during Expo's Space Week, in which the two countries announced plans to work on especially climate change related research in the field of space. So this week, um, it was announced that there would be a $200,000 fund for um, a research proposal using data from Israel Israel's own satellite, the Venus satellite. So this will be focusing very much on not only climate change, but specific areas such as uh, water security, food security, um, water monitoring, and using this big data that's been actually circulating um, with this orbiting with this satellite since 2017. So it's quite a major, major project now. Right. It looks like, you know, from Israeli perspective that almost every ministry here uh, is trying to find a way to cooperate with the UAE. So we have a, a large number of cooperations on many, many uh, fields, right? Yeah, we've seen so many, everything from agriculture to health. But in recent weeks alone, we've seen climate change really coming to the fore. So on the uh, back of the Prime Minister's visit, we saw the huge R&D fund announcement. We've also seen last year there was a um, an announcement that there would be a joint institute in Abu Dhabi for water research. As well as in November, it was the ministries of education coming together and announcing that there would be collaboration in the fields of scientific and academic research. So yes, there have been so many collaborations, whether it was defense, security, health, but indeed there is a, a, a strong collaboration now in terms of academic and scientific research, which really shows the importance of developing both countries' knowledge economies. Right. Well, if you mentioned uh, security cooperation and, and so forth, um, what's the atmosphere like um, these days vis-a-vis uh, -vis what's happening in the Gulf and also in Ukraine? I think in terms of what's been happening with the Houthis, obviously it is an issue that is concerning people at the higher level, but in terms of people who live here in the UAE, I think there's a huge feeling of safety and confidence, and it's not something which is really in the general uh, narrative of day-to-day -day life. Um, in terms of the Ukraine crisis, obviously this is a huge issue because the ripple effects would be massive across the region. You know, a lot of the countries in this region depend on exports, whether it's corn or grain from the Ukraine, you know, and in a region which is already suffering with huge humanitarian crises, that's a great concern. So whether it's Egypt, Lebanon, Yemen, this is something which concerns us all and we should all be watching it. 